in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to batch edit with your actions in Photoshop. This is a really great way to save time when editing your images and applying the same action to multiple images at a time. Now, I've got two images open for this tutorial. However, you can have many uh, multiple images open at the same time. Um, when you're applying or using batch editing. Okay, so let's just jump right in here. I am going to run Fresh Start Base. I use this on almost all of my newborn images, um, but I want it to apply to all the images that I have open without having to go in and click on it individually for each image. So I'm just going to go up here to File, uh, go down to Automate and select Batch. Okay. First thing you want to make sure, uh, here I've got my pop-up screen, next to set, you want to make sure you have the collection selected that you're, you'll be using. I'm going to be using Lux Newborn, so I'll keep that as is. Next to action, you can click on it and select the action within that set that you want to use. I want to use Fresh, fresh Start Base, so I'm going to keep that as is. Um, source open files, that means that it will apply to all the open files you have in Photoshop, so I'm going to keep that selected as well. Errors, you want to keep that on stop for errors, so if anything uh, does come up during the play, it'll stop and um, you'll be able to uh, fix the, the issue that's going on. Uh, destination, for, in this tutorial, I'm going to keep it as at none for now because uh, you now at the end you can select save and close and it'll save all your images and close. But right now I'm still applying uh, enhancements to the image so I don't want to close them or put them in a folder. Okay, so I'm gonna select okay. And notice how it's playing automatically for both of my images that I have open. I can then go in and change the opacity um, or keep it as is. Okay, so now if I want to go in and apply another action, I can go back down to Automate and select Batch. Okay, so I've still got Lux Newborn selected. This time we're going to run Oh Baby. And I'm gonna keep all of my settings the same and press OK. And again, Oh Baby is going to be applied to both images that I have open. And I can, again, go in and adjust the opacity. There we go. Now say I'm running two, three, or just multiple actions on all of my images uh, from one setup that I have open. And I don't wanna go in and select File, Automate, Batch for each of the actions. There's another really simple way to apply multiple actions at once to all of your images that you have open. Um, now this particular step will not be applicable, uh, excuse me, applicable for Elements users. However, you can use it for Photoshop CC and Creative Cloud. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and delete the actions that I've run so we don't have them uh, run twice on each image. And, um, Here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm gonna make sure that the uh, collection that I'm using is selected. So I'm just gonna scroll up to the top here and select Lux Newborn. And at the bottom of my, of my actions panel, you'll see there's a little square with a folded corner at the bottom. I'm going to select it. And this is going to create a new action. Okay, I'm going to select Automate, <clears throat> or I'm just gonna name it Automate Newborn. A set it's going to apply to my Lux Newborn set. You want to make sure that it's applying to the set that you're currently using. Uh, and press record. Okay, so right now it's recording everything I'm doing. Uh, now I'm going to go up and select the actions that I want to be played um, in this new action that I'm making. So first I'm going to select Fresh Start Base and press play. Okay. You can also adjust the overall opacity of the action and have that apply to the action as well. So I'm just going to bring this down to about 
And I'm gonna go up to Oh Baby and click play. Okay, and I'm gonna adjust the opacity of this action as well and just bring that down a little bit. And last, I want to run Choose Your Vignette. I'm gonna press play. Later on, I'll be able to go in and select the vignette that I want for my images. So now I'm going to click on stop. That's the little square at the bottom left-hand corner of your actions panel. And I'm just gonna delete these actions so they don't apply twice to my image. And we're going to go right back up to file, automate and select batch. Okay, still Flux Newborn selected and Automate Newborn is already my action selected because I was just working with it. Um, I'm going to keep the rest of my selections the same and press OK. And now all of my actions are going to play just with one quick click and they'll apply to all of the images that I have open. Um, this is super simple and I actually use this um, this batch editing technique quite a bit when editing my photos from different setups. And now I can go in and open my Choose Your Vignette and I'm just going to select Oatmeal. I really like that one, there we go. Okay, and I can do that on the next image as well. Oatmeal. And I'm done, super quick edit. I really hope that you guys learned uh, a lot on how to batch edit in Photoshop and really make your editing process a lot quicker uh, when editing and using Photoshop.